fire right there, guys. Satisfying, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so what do you think about Orlando? I hate this track. I really do. <laughs> I really, I really hate it. Don't but you, don't sugarcoat it. Don't yeah, that's right. It's just like there's only one transfer and just these, these massive bumps coming off the bank. I just feel bad for the car every time. And then the, on the one transition, right in the center of the transition, there's just a massive like jump again. So it's pretty terrible, but I mean, at the end of the day, we get to drive our race cars and I love doing that. And I love competing and I love drifting. So any day you get to go drifting is a good day. getting the whole rig together and Dylan was like why do we need that blue fan is this going with us do we need this we both said we wanted it yeah we did yeah not he him. didn't want it <laughs> yeah what do we have today uh your basic turkey sandwich with some tomato and some lettuce on some rolls it's, it's track food it's what we do MG. Max here with Cinerlac Technology. High performance gear roll, 75 Feel good, you know. Here's the deal: you look good, you feel good, feel good, you play good, you play good, you get paid. If you could invent your own country, what would you name it? Dilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> There's no again at promotion. I'll look good. Hey, hey, good dude, all right. All right. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we've got. We've got the old school candy challenge. Wow. We got all this stuff at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Cracker Barrel. Nice. Yeah. Alright, so can I bust these open? Alright, so here we have uh, a bit of honey? Bit of honey. No, I've never had this before in my life. I don't think. Not that I recall anyway. Ooh, might feel laffy taffy kind of. Sure doesn't taste like it though. That's actually pretty good. That's not bad. It's like a weird, weird peanut butter flavor with last coffee. It's okay. This is a Chico stick. Those are my favorite Chico sticks. Does that just look like you're chewing on like an old bone that's been laying outside in the dirt for a while? That's what it looks like. Okay. Now we got Mary Jane. Let me tell you. This better be good. This is like similar feeling to that and looking almost. Oh. Oh. I don't like that. Dirt. Peanut butter again. I don't know what. I remember seeing these things and I do recall eating these, but I have no idea what it tastes like. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like chalk. Like soft chalk. That's exactly what that is. Am I wrong? Those are disgusting, bro. What, what is that? Mm. I'm gonna try these for the first time today. No, oh, that's good stuff. I mean, those, dude, that, those are a classic. Like, those are just so good. Last. Third. At third. That's fourth, that's dead last. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh no, these are definitely different. The red ones are the best, just like in every package. Hey, Rhonda, you just willingly ate right, a circus peanut. Circus peanut. I love a circus peanut. Are you the only one? I do. What? Nobody likes it? Your son just rated that number five out of five. <laughs> no! It's like the grossest thing. Over a Mary Jane? Yeah, he didn't like that either. And it chick was thick. It was big on the roller. No, this is it. No, those are sick. The jam. It's like tastes like styrofoam, right? No. Delicious.
can't hear my answer. That's brand new. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What is it? It's a fuel tank vent valve for a 1999 Cadillac Eldorado. A vent valve. Okay, that makes sense. Because I okay. All right. I get. Hey, I was close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel good. Yo, here you go. What is it? Oh, Riley, random car. Oh, maybe a fuel fuel pressure regulator. Okay, a Riley random part going to Dylan Hughes. Oh, geez. What is it and what vehicle does it go in? I want to say that is some sort of, I would say fuel pressure regulator, but it's only got one out. It's got to be some sort of crankcase breather for a 2014 Kia Optima. I mean, that was... I mean, it's Same not it, but I like, said. Yeah. really? Yeah. Because it's got like a little check valve in it. <laughs> You're the last one again, right? Okay. O'Reilly Random Park. O'Reilly Random Park. Save the ship one more time. I would say it's like a check valve for like an evaporative canister of some sort. Is that your final answer? <laughs> Maybe a fuel? Valve. Fuel tank vent valve. <laughs> what vehicle? Oh. Uh, 1948 Pucci Benelli. <laughs> there it is. How'd you get that? <laughs> Butter. The Jif in a squeezy. It's the best for the racetrack. Game changer. Yeah, because you can do it like decorate a cake because it squeezes out like this. Look, you can make it pretty like that. Wow. And if you put a little salt on it. What? Is this like a Washington a thing? Bit. Yeah. Is that is it? Dylan mm -hmm. Hughes <laughs> on the Pacific Northwest. Look at that big angle from him. Nice. You can see again all that Falcon tire tread coming down. Again, another driver. You can see just every vehicle, such a different setup from just you know the chassis and the suspension. But like I said, throws just throws a little little nudge nudge into the game to see how you're gonna handle it. But look at that, and it paid off in dividends. A 91. A 91. Great job there for Dylan Hughes. Yeah, that felt good. Good. Uh, finally in the 90s. That's all I want, right? Like I feel like that, that's all you want is just to be in the 90s. And then besides that, you're like, okay, that's cool. So like, I felt like we deserved that. I felt wicked locked in, super solid, and I'm glad they thought so too. So that that feels really good. I'm so yeah, yeah. That looked so good. <laughs> It's called What's in the Lake. It's called What's in the Lake? Yeah. We got a name for this? Yeah. This, this is called What is Tetanus? Yeah, we're set up. Well, I figure we'll just have to do a, a quick hot lap around the perimeter, I figure. Well, it depends on how easy it rows. If it rows easy, we'll just mow it around the outside, run the wide line. But if it don't, maybe we'll just go out to the center back. Oh, nice! Nice! Easy as that, dude. Give me a puss. Like a oh, I got some marshmallows? Is that bait? Yeah. Oh, no problem. We're going for a perimeter run. Phil, is your rope long enough? How's this thing work? Wait, did you, oh, you tied that on? Okay, all right, I see what's, what's going on here. I don't even think I need a safety rub, dude. We're ripping. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That was a hell of a cast. This gentleman going ready to make some noise here in this royal purple O'Reilly Auto Parts. 
It is a BMW and it's piloted by Pacific Northwest own Dylan the Dozer Hughes. BMW? What's going on here? What is... Did he... The light extinguished. Is Fetty dead on the line? So Dylan so, Hughes continues through the course. This took off on my lead, like clicked it in the bank just fine. And then as I come off the bank, I see a dude waving a flag. And then I saw he was still sitting at the line. So I, I mean, stop, right? So I just stopped and then he just pulled forward, pulled around. And then I just gave him a, a super safe chase. So. So here we go with that 599 GTV. And here comes Federico Tarifo initiating into the bank. Now Dylan Hughes can't play it too cool. Federico in that single turbo V12 Ferrari now coming slamming down in that first lift. Dylan Hughes, I think, gonna play it a little bit cool. Dial it back to about a nine, nine and a half. Because he does have that advantage on two markets, like you said, I really stand out. But unfortunately, he's taken out by the dozer, Dylan Hughes. These fans are hardcore, Jared. Man, they're out the, here with their the, umbrellas. The, the fans, but I'm sorry. They're tr I, we're trying to go, bro. Everybody's yelling at me. We're the messenger. Send it! Here we go. Travis Reader, Dylan Hughes. The zaniest battle you've probably ever seen in Formula Drift history. Travis Reader initiates into the bank. Dylan Hughes goes up into the wall, pulls up with great angle. No smoke. It's purely missed. Coming up the back end of their vehicles. GT Radio Falcon Tire Splash Zone is on. They're jumping in like a high dive into that clipping point two. Now into outside zone two. Coming in, look at that splash right there in the crease. The water's collecting there. Travis Reader barely goes over it. Dylan Hughes in the proximity. Make him, make him feel the love. Dude, we like, we're ready to go full dry. Warmed up tires sitting on the line like two seconds away from sending it. And they pull us off the track for a tornado warning. As we're waiting, it starts absolutely pouring down rain. Full dry setup on both of our cars. We said, it, let's run it. We go out there, we send it. I bumped Travis at the end. Both of us bashing off the walls. He ended up bumping me and I think he spun. I couldn't see. Uh, I ended up getting the win. Dude, this is insane. You can't make this stuff up, dude. This is insane. This is absolute madness. It's been full wet to full dry, what, twice today? We're going, uh, we're going to the top four. Dylan Hughes whoa, comes down that whoa, hole. Whoa, we're losing whoa. bumpers. Dylan Hughes gets a little twitchy. Matt Field jumps to the side of him. We keep up party, boys. Dylan Hughes, more angle. Oh. And Matt Field spins. Dylan Hughes keeps continuing on. Dylan the Dozer Hughes gets the win. Dylan Hughes gets the win. And I just did. I said thank you so much to our cameramen, our crew, our staff, all of the crew out here, cameramen on scissor lifts, and the whole staff sticking around. I, I wow. just can't thank everybody enough for the hard work and the weather that everybody's enduring. Let's go, big day. It feels right. It feels right. It's not Unanimously here at Orlando Speed World is Dylan Hughes. Dylan Hughes gets the win.
know what to say. What do you even say, right? I like, don't know. You're a winner. I don't. <laughs> like for the first time in a long time, man. I haven't won a. I haven't won an event since my second pro am round. Like always, first loser. And uh, we said this year we did two podiums last year, and we said that like that was the goal for this year. So we just had to win one. And I never thought it would happen at this track, man. This is not even close to my favorite track of the year. It's and your the favorite is, now. It, it might just be my favorite now, right? So. Uh, I, uh, I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. I can't believe it. Like, I don't hate the rain that much at all anymore. So that's a thing. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we get rain for all the other events. <laughs> what a day, man. What a day.